Good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Clark Sports Cards. Um, as always, it seems like I just did a little test. We are nine seconds behind. So, eh, it is what it is, right? As always. Good evening, Farm League. How are you doing, buddy? You doing good? Um, I'm sure some others will be popping in here for too long. Um, but yeah, I've got some new products. Just a little bit. Uh, select out there. Um... I think some Chronicle Soccers, if anybody's interested in soccer cards. Um, do want to point out in the background, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's my HGA cards that I'm putting up. I'm probably going to post them on eBay or something like that. That's kind of what I'm posting them at, at 140 on the Zion Jim Mint from HGA. Um, haven't posted them quite yet, but kind of hard for me to get let loose of cards. But need to refuel the market a little bit so I can buy some more products. I like ripping. There's a Luca. Rookie card and Donruss asking 265 for that, and then the Herbert, good old Herbie, asking 250 for the Herbert Optic Gem Mint as well. Love these cards, so. But uh, yeah, um, I like HGA as well. I just sent out another order of, not sent out, but I'm getting ready to ship out. These are some of the cards that. My second sub to HGA, I'll kind of show them real briefly, um, that I'm sending out to be graded. Got a nice Joe Burrows die cut blue that I pulled out of uh, field level, which is the highest level you can get out of select. I'm going to send that bad boy off. I love that card, um, that Joe Burrows card. I really think big things are going to happen with him. And one of my big PC guys, had this card for a while, been meaning to get it graded. That's an optic uh, CMC rookie card, and that is the green parallel in optic. Love that card. It's not numbered, but still a beautiful looking card. Love CMC. Pulled this out of a retail pack as well. All these cards I pulled. Didn't buy any of these. Uh, the Jordan Alvarez auto. One thing I do like about HGA is they do grade the autos, and this is out of 125. Pulled that out of a cello right there in one of my videos. But beautiful card there. Love that card. Got to send off a Tatis finally. That's the Chrome. Tatis. Tops Chrome. Got to send that bad boy off and get it graded. Held on to it long enough. A die cut field level. Um, what's up, Steven? How you doing, buddy? What's cheaper to submit than I thought? I thought it was 55 a card. No, it's uh, <coughs> the lowest level is 20, and that's a 60-day um, submission, 60-business-day. Uh, so it's going to actually probably take about uh, it takes about three months, basically, uh, to get it back. But that's a Joe Burrows die cut. I think this is, is it comp premier, premier level. So it's the second highest card in the die cut in a red, white, and blue. Love that card, Joey B. Got a chrome um, refractor of Bobby Shedd I'm sending off. He's hot now in the market as well. A Lou Bob uh, refractor and tops chrome rookie card. Aaron Jones, optic rookie card if you try to pull him in packs good luck now because these packs are outrageous because cmc is a rookie that year i not cmc but so many good rookies mahomes um cmc's that year so, i mean it's it's hard to get packs reasonable in order to pull this card you almost have to buy it raw i think i bought this one raw i think i can't can't remember and then a dalvin cook that's another rookie card in 2017 um Love that card. That's the base card. You can see it's not the green like the CMC, but that's the base. But still, beautiful card. So um, that's my, you're allowed nine cards now uh, to send off. And I'm sending these off. Probably put them in the mail this weekend and sending them off to them. I've already paid for the submission. So I just got to kind of clean them one good time and get ready to send the bad boys off. And that'll be my second sub of nine cards because my first five I got back already. So just a little, little tidbit of what I'm doing now. A little bit but um, uh, while we're waiting on some more people to pop in we don't have that many in I only think only four that's actually viewing right now um, while we're waiting to pop in I know I got you up first Derek um, the list in retail is in the comments at least it should be we got six viewing now let me just check to make sure it's in the comments before we go any farther yep it's all down there baseball <clears throat> football basketball Soccer, UFC, racing, and then Pokemon if you're in the Pokemon thing. So 
Uh, I've got Derek first up on the hit box. We've got him with uh, uh, a Bowman Mega and also a Bowman Blaster and then two Select Blasters, I think, as well. Um, we'll let him drool at the TV a little bit or the uh, screen a little bit while I open this up. I come across this today along with some Select. What's up? What's up, T-Bone? In and out, in and out. That's fine. Join in when you can. But I found two of these today. I put one of them up. I love these gems of the game. The reason being is because of that bad boy you can get some optic or some prism in there of course it shows the leaf and the illusion absolute but i don't care if i can get anything 2018 2017 even a leaf draft in 2017 a cm uh a patrick mahomes is awesome love to get that card in there but let's get in there these are always gamble packs that's another reason why you like them you know 20 bucks for gems of the game come on you get a slab card in it um plus it says an auto or relic and then six factory sealed packs i like the factory sealed packs because i know that probably that you know one in a thousand or more shot of getting anything good in the in the graded card thing so let's see what we got let's see what we got here let's pull out the packs and also what we got in there and see what we got Oh, that's something interesting. Tops. You don't see that much in football. There's the good old Sage. Let's see what we got for a hit here. Well, we got a Tua. It says a nine mint or better BGCG or BCCG, excuse me. Uh, Tua, Tagovola, Sage card. So, wasn't expecting anything great, but, you know, Tua, right? Rookie quarterback last year. I'll take it. Let's see what kind of packs we got. We should have an auto or a mem, and right there it is. Oh, look at that, T-Bone. <laughs> D'Angelo Williams. Remember when he used to, one of the premier running backs for the uh, Panthers? That's out of 35. It's not his rookie card, but a patch uh, out of 35. Come on, man, really? Oh, D'Angelo Williams. That'll go into the PC right there, probably. Pretty card, nonetheless. Not bad for a little small hit inside of it. <laughs> I've been pulling some old school rookies from Fairfield boxes like Rob Gronk and Jerome Betts. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, really, I mean, it's fun. You can't ask for more fun than this. I wish a lot of products done this. Um, we got a 2020 Leaf Draft, so we know what's in that. That's your, well, some of that. Another 2020 hit. Ooh, look at that bad boy. I guarantee you this pack is over. This is a hobby pack. I don't know if it says hobby or blaster. I think it's a blaster because it's got BL right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says BL. But still, these packs, non-hobby, I guarantee it is probably $15 for this one pack. So I'd almost pay for a blaster in itself. Let's see what else we got here. A 2015 Donruss. I don't know. I can't remember the rookie cards in that, but I'm sure we'll be surprised what's in that. 2013 tops. You don't see that too long. Often tops football. I know there's got to be some good rookies in there. And then we've got a 2020 premier draft hit. So let's get the hits and the uh, sage out of the way. See what we got. And then we'll get into some of them sweet looking packs there. See what we got. Alan said, used to have him on my fantasy league. Oh, yeah. D'Angelo back in the day, dude. He was, he was a baller. I liked him. We had a double threat with him, but he was a lead back. Even when he got traded, I think he was a lead back for a little while. A.J. Terrell, cornerback, linebacker of David Woodward, a wide receiver of Chase Claypool. Shout out to Paul C. right there. Joe Burrows. There we go. Five-star high school star. A hit. Joe Burrows, premier draft. There you go. A little rookie card insert. And there's another Tua. Tua rookie card. Next level. 2020. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Hey, three or four years from now, you'd be surprised what a hit, a sage, or a leaf Patrick Mahomes is going for right now. So, oh, look at that. I didn't even know these things had chrome in it. Look at that. A D Swift Premier Draft Chrome. Now, that's sweet. I haven't pulled none of them yet. Didn't even know they had chrome, but that's a sweet looking card right there. I like that card. What's up, J.O.? Justin Jefferson. There we go. 
I'll take a Justin Jefferson. I don't know who this kid is. Trevian Feaster. Okay. James Morgan. Probably won't see the light of day, but he is a rookie. Uh, Chasen. Patrick Taylor Jr. Jonathan Taylor. Hits. Five star. Good little running back right there. Jonathan Taylor rookie. And then Jerry Judy. Next level. All right. I don't think that. That ain't bad. I love that chrome. Didn't even know that thing was a chrome in there. Beautiful card. All right, the 2020 Leaf Draft. <clears throat> Let's see what we got in the Leaf Draft here a little bit. Probably taking too much time with this, but I love these darn things. All right, Aaron Rodgers Flashback 2005. All right. LaVisca Chenault Jr. Now, these actually say RC logo on the draft. I don't know why the rest of them don't, but anyway. Justin Jefferson, a little rookie card right there. Touchdown Kings, and he was. LaVisca Chenault there again. All-star rookie, and Colin Johnson. So, all right. All right, let's get into that. Let's see what we got. Let's, let's definitely saving that prism to last. There ain't four cards in that bad boy. Let's, uh, let's go with the oldest. 2013. And this must be like a gravity pack or something like that, or a, a hanger pack back in the day, I guess, or retail pack, whatever you want to call it, because it's got that little hanger right there on it. 2013 Tops Football. Don't see too much Tops Football. Oh, my God, look at these cards. They're beautiful cards. 2013 Tops. What's up, Tom? How you doing, buddy? 21 Sage, all I can find. <laughs> hey, if it's all you find, it is. That's a... Dear, Denario Alexander. Okay. Denario Alexander. We've got a, who is this bad boy? This is an all pro of Brandon Marshall. I remember back in the day, he was a, he was a top five uh, wide receiver back in the day. Got another one right here of Jared Allen. Old school Jared Allen right there. There is a Percy Harvin. I remember Percy. Lamar Miller. Didn't he know he was back in the day? That's got to be one of the newer cards for him. Yeah, that was his second-year card right there, Lamar Miller. Look at this, Earl Thomas, safety, little miniature cards, little mini cards. Hmm, kind of neat. Look at that, legends, Frank Gore, <laughs> son of a gun, is still running to the day. Eight years, eight years back in 2013. That's a nice card, though, pretty. Who we got here? This is old Andy Dalton, Red Rocket. Look at there, diving for a touchdown. That's got to be one of his newer cards, too. Let's see. That's his third-year card. Third-year card right there, Andy Dalton. we got a Lawrence Timmons. All right. Who is this? Ryan Nas Nasib? Nasib, I guess it is. Rookie card. All right. And another rookie card here. Who we got? It is Kyle Long. Little O-line. And then our last is Janarius Bird. Okay. So, all right. A little different look there. All right, let's look and see what we get in 2015. All right, we got Jay Hall for the, what do you do here? Somebody timed out Jay Hall by accident. What did he do it for? Oh, well. All right, here we go. Next pack. Steven Tommy. Okay. <clears throat> Jane. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I can't wait to get a Jane Wiseman rookie. We got a Doug Martin. Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy B. Nick Foles. Paul Pulzitsky. Something like that. Pulzitsky. Dequel Jackson. Yeah, these are just my personal rips right quick. Then we'll get into them. Mario Williams. And then, look at that. Got a skin here. There's a little Ken Reporter card. It's kind of old school. Who is this? A rookie threads of Jamison Crowder. Little rookie threads of Jamison Crowder for the Washington football team. And then, we've got a rookie card of Justin Hardy. That ain't bad. Justin Hardy is a, not a bad wide receiver. <laughs> Kid reporter card. I'll save that for Tom. All right. All right. Prism. Four, four cards per pack. Twenty eighteen. Come on, Lamar. 
One more. It would be nice to get a parallel auto insert out of this bad boy. It's something pretty sweet. Uh, come on. I'm going to damage these cards. All right. There. Eh. Ooh, we got a silver. Looks like in the back back here. Uh, Russell Wilson. Good quarterback. Good quarterback. Silver. Nick Chubb. Instant impact in a silver. He's still a good running back to this day. That's a nice one. Look, it's a beautiful card, isn't it? Prism does it right, don't they? Eight games a season. Jim Crouch made a lot of money playing eight games in the season. Mr. Hammy. <laughs> I like that Nick Chubb, though. That looks sweet looking. Next card, uh, Tate. Bengals. Looks like. Probably going to get another rookie. I think that was our rookie. Yet. Matt Ryan. So, yeah. Got two quarterbacks out of it. I mean, 20 bucks. You know, it's a fun rip. You can't ask for anything more fun than that to rip. Unknowing what you're going to get out of the packs, a chance of getting something really sweet and all of that. If I see gems of the game, especially football or bas basketball, I'm grabbing it all day long. All right, so that's my little personal PC rip right there. We'll get that out of the way. <laughs> That chub give you a chub. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me get this out of the way. A little Devin D'Angelo Williams. I know T-Bone remembers him watching the Panthers play. All right. So we have um, Derek's first on the list here. Matter of fact, Derek's the only one on the list currently. Um, if anybody wants anything ripped, let me know. I'll be on. If not, I'll rip a couple of my stuff and move on. No big deal. We'll log off. But do have some news. Uh, he's got a Bowman Mega coming, a blaster coming, and then he wanted two of the selects blasters. Don't have many of the select. I think I've only got one, two, three, four, five left is all I got in the select. That's the new product that just come out. I don't know who that guy is on front. They say his name is Juan Soto. He might be good if we pull something out of him on that. This darn blaster got a little bit of nick on it we'll check the cards to make sure but a little match right there make sure the cards are all right if not i'll take the darn blaster uh cosmic parallel is what we're looking for some of the biggest stars you tell me what you want to go for first um um Derek, uh if you want to do the bowman blaster the mega the select what you want to go for and we'll kind of roll from that Let me put you next then, Tom. Select blasters you want two. All right, Tom. Two select blasters. I got you, Dan. You'll be after Derek. Um, I can't at Derek. Not sure where he went. <clears throat> uh, I'll take a select blaster. Farm League wants a select. I'll put you right after Tom. Farm League. One select. Got you down Farm League as well. Two for 50. How about that right there for 50? I'll give you five. How about that? How about five? How about five? <laughs> um, <coughs> Derek's not here. Seen him pop on a little while ago. He leave. Let me see if he's in chat. Let me see here. Active people. Derek, where are you at? Derek, are you there? Changing Derek. Paging Derek. Live chat. Let me see here. Let's see if I can see. Let me look at participants here. Uh, yeah, he stepped away. Well, what's up, Stimmers? How you doing, buddy? You doing all right? Do you want me to put him to the side then? We'll wait on him. We'll set him to the side. I don't want to rip without him. Uh, we get some select blasters going on here. And I'll let you pick your poison here. Coming in late, wants two for five. I know, look at him. I know, right? I know. Um, 
one, two, three. Nice to that. Thank you. Thank you for me. Appreciate it, buddy. Fix your poison. I think I've got two more out there. We'll throw a couple more in the box. See what you want. Tom, if you're still there, pick one, two, and three. And we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, I'm good getting read of Patriots at my son's school board meeting. I see I'm seeing the stupid people. <laughs> two and three. Two and three. All right. Two and three. Two and three. As you know, these are definitely hit and miss product. Um, only 12 cards in them. But I can tell you right now, these are a heck of a lot cheaper than a hobby box. Um, even with just 12 cards. I mean, I know it's probably close to about, what is it, 24, a little over two bucks a card, basically. But I think that the uh, um, hobby boxes, I know you're guaranteed certain stuff out of them, but I think they're running, what, five or six dollars a card, something like that. Man, they're insane. Select is a beautiful product. All shiny premium products are hit and miss. Yep, exactly. Uh, my Series 2 hangers were full of Braves guys. Is Contreras going to be good? Contreras just, I think he's going to be a C-plus player. Got potential to be a B, but right now he's hurt. So, um, yeah. So No, no, they sent him down. They sent him down uh, for some reason. I don't know what it was for, but I don't know. I mean, he was, he's, he's pretty good. I don't know. All right, here we go, Tom. First pack, four cards per pack. Start off with a look. Now, I will tell you, each pack has, should have a scope parallel in it. So, you know, we'll kind of go from there. Saw a scuffle as I walked in Walmart this morning over stupid cards. I wouldn't doubt that one bit. I don't know why they're scuffling because there ain't nothing out there premium anymore coming out. Not until Optic, but, I mean, I don't really consider Select Baseball a premium product. Even though it's a good product, it's basically they should be fighting over some baseball or football, but I don't know. Crazy. But you got a Yordan right there. Nice little Yordan. Ooh. Got a backwards card here. And it's numbered out of 199. I don't know if you can see it. 199. He signed Diaz. And it's an auto. Look at that. Got you an auto. First pack. First pack auto. Isan Diaz. When is his rookie year? Was it last year? It's either last year or this year, I think, isn't it? It's a sticker, but still, look at that. It's a prism, and it's numbered out of 199. That's sweet. Sweet one right there. Nice way to start off the... I guess you picked the right numbers, right? Well, Isan Diaz right there. All right. And right behind it, as you've seen in our chat today, Eloy is playing right in my hometown this Friday. And it's come back. There he is. Moonshots. Last year, I believe. Yeah, I knew it was pretty close. It was either last year or this year. I couldn't remember. Finally got our Panini rookie auto from last year. Can't believe it. Uh, Eloy Jimenez, nice. And our scope is Salvador Perez. These are beautiful cards, though. Scope. Kind of makes you want to smoke a doobie and look at it, right? <laughs> nice little Salvador Perez. Not one of the hits you got, but that Eloy is pretty sweet. Now, you're not. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty four pretty decent cards right there out of one pack. Are you going to check him out? I actually thought about calling T-Bone to see if he wanted to go out to a game and catch one together. Um, and I don't know. Uh, it's right. I mean, it's literally like 10 minutes from my house. That's the ball field that we're playing. At. It's a nice ball field, too. Um, we'll be trading something. Just sit, just sit from the refresh memory. Okay, that's for Farm League. Vape a double brother. At least it's 16 of a pack. Yeah. Uh, Josh Fleming's your rookie card you got right there. And this is Concourse. Got a Yelly. Now that's a Premier. I can tell by the border. A Premier. You can see right there. I've ripped a lot of baseball. I mean, not baseball, but football. That's a Premier version. Then you got a Tyler Duffy. 25 man. It doesn't tell the, um, like what level that is or whatever, but. 
And we got an Esteban Floreal, which is a rookie card in scope. Esteban Floreal. So it's a rookie card, right? Don't know. And he's got a bat in his hand, so that's a plus, right? <laughs> Where is the ball field? Um, it's in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Um, it's like I said. It's it's that's where I'm. That's where I live. Is Winston Salem, North Carolina. So it's right down the league, from, right down the road from me. No, just sending because you deserve it. Because all the gifts you sent me. Though. Okay. All right. Last pack of this blaster, and we want to start off with. We got a silver. It looks like in this too. A yachty. Got you a little yachty. Uh, silver of Walker Bueller sensation a sensation Walker Bueller silver another silver behind it Zach Gallon Zach Gallon silver so you got two silvers in one pack I knew I hadn't seen that yet and our scope Kenta Maeda scope so I mean getting an auto and a number card out of an auto two I mean a lot of parallels prisms in that not a big hit as far as a rookie card, but some overall pretty decent cards for not so bad for the first blaster. We'll set them to the side, get into the second one. Let's see what we got here. When is the game? I'll meet you there. Stimmers, do you live? You how far do you live? Uh Stimmers, where do you live at? You live close to me? You live in North Carolina, Stammers? I didn't know that. I'm going to go up from here. <laughs> I live near Raleigh. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Um, yeah, come on down. Maybe me and you and T-Bone can catch a game. I'll check the schedule or something like that. Maybe even Jackie. Um, can uh, I'll go to the game, drink a couple beers or something like that, and and uh, uh, we missed Wander Franco by a day. Uh, yeah, he comes through the the, the, uh, the organization, but uh, I don't know how long he's going to be down there. I would imagine probably about um, it probably going to be a week, no more. But we'll check. We need to check the schedule as far as that goes. Email me. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Blaster number two, big time. That's what we got. Got a J.P. Crawford, Seattle. You got another, no, that's a, not a silver. That's the scope that's shiny back here. Patrick Corbin, Washington. That's the guy that you like anyway, Patrick Corbin. Adley Rushman. Didn't know that they was in here. Baltimore. And this is a phenomenon, which I think are harder pulls a little bit. Phenomenon. But an Adley Rushman, that's not a bad one right there. And then our scope is Brent Rooker. We're getting rookie cards, and we're getting them in scope. Could be there up to 30 days, kind of a spring break. All right, well, good. we got plenty of time to catch a couple of his games in. Yeah, I'll email you, um, Stemmers. That's pretty cool. Brent Rooker, scope parallel. Do they make three different levels in each base card? Yes, Chatty P. Uh, like this right here is the concourse. You can see in the back back here. I don't know if you can see it. If it's focusing good enough, but... They got a, I know they got at least three levels. They have got, in baseball, they got the Concourse Premier and Diamond. I don't know if they got a fourth level. I know in uh, baseball or football, they have four levels. They got Concourse, um, Premier, Club, and Field. So I don't know if they got four. I would assume they have four, but I opened up three blasters by myself. And I didn't get any of the third level. I mean, any of the fourth level, alleged fourth level. I did get a diamond level, but I don't know. I know they got at least three levels. Concourse, Premier, and Diamond. Don't know anything beyond that. All right, St. Louis. Nolan Arnado. Nolan Arnado. There's the laser. You got the laser right there, Raymond. Ramon Laureano. Kettle Marte. Kenna Marte, and then our scope is Jared Olivia or Oliva Oliva for Pittsburgh rookie cards. So we're pulling a bunch of good rookie cards, a bunch of I'm gonna say good, a bunch of rookie cards in scope, but none of the premier ones that we really want. So 
Another rookie card in scope. So we got three rookie cards in scope. All right. Hit or miss product. Everybody knows. Here we go. Last pack. So three base cards, and they can only put 12 cards in a blaster. I know. That, that, that's what I was doing in my little retail revealer select. Football has 24 cards in it. You would think baseball, if anything, would have more cards or at least the same as football, and they have less. Half the level, 12 cards. Crazy. I think it's stupid, but that's just me. A premier level of Braylon Marquez, Chicago. Looks like he's doing like a splitter there or something. But we got a Sixto Sanchez, hot rookie for select. I actually pulled out of one of my blasters as well. And unfortunately, now he's out for the year for Sixto. Sunday's game, OS at 2 p.m. I thought it'd be kind of hard to see on Nato and Rev, but I think it fits. <laughs> Sunday's game, OS at 2 p.m. I might do that. I might do that. We got a silver here. Ooh, that's a guy that you like. Now, I think it was worth it now. I, for a minute there, I thought it was a Juan Soto until I seen the RC, but Luis Garcia, rookie silver for the Nats. Suited for a good old Tom right there. Suited for Tom. And we still got a scope right behind it. Last card. Brandon Woodruff. Where's James P at? Where's James P? Other than some of the elite rookies. I don't know if Luis Garcia is considered elite. I know to Tom he is. But I think that that was a card that you probably wanted more than anything. As far as a silver rookie card. So, nice Luis Garcia there. Nice. Very fitting card for show. Nice Lewis Garcia. But nice Adley, and I'll do some more sleeving and everything like that later. But Salvador Perez, Olivia, Esteban Floreal, Brent Rooker, some of these people I'm not 100% sure of, and then a bunch of other scopes and rookies in there. But you did pull that auto out of, out of um, was it 99, 199? Yeah, 199 Prism. Now we just got to hope that he does good, right? He signed Diaz. Nice card, none the way. James is drunk on a couch near the beach. <laughs> Probably so. Probably so. D drinking that, what is it, The uh, some type of IPA, weird IPA with a bunch of fruit and hops and stuff like that in it? Let me put your name on these cards, Tom. Looking for Derek. Where's Derek? Meryl, where's Derek at? All right, got you set up over here, Tom. You got a little auto, two packs, two things. Spotted cow, yeah, he drinks all kind of weird stuff. Spotted cow, um, 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 what else? Some of the weird stuff that he drinks, I can't remember whatever else it was, something like a. Um, giraffe and grapefruit or something like that. Okay, there's Steven. All right, there he is. All right. All right, I got your Bowman. That's your blaster over there. Got your Mega. Do you want to open up the Select first? Or do you want to go with the, uh, or do you want to go with the Bowman? You let me know, Stephen. Either way, I'll do either one. Good luck, Derek. Select. All right. I'm going to set the uh, Bowman off to the side for now. Let's go with the Select. Now, I did say that this blaster got a little bit of crumple. If I get into these cards and these packs are damaged, which they shouldn't be because they're in the very center, but if they do, then I'll, then I'll switch them out. That's no big deal. All right, here we go. First one. Here we go. All right. Let me check these packs out. All right, so they are in the center. Fortunate enough, that's not where the damage was at. Looks good. So we'll see when we open the pack up what we got. All right, let's go ahead and take the cellophane off the second one. Get it rocking and rolling. Get them trouts. Uh-oh. Chetty P wants some trade bait, right? All right, first pack. Four cards per pack. 
We got an auto in the first blaster we opened. Let's we'll see what we got next. All right. You Darvish starts it off San Diego. Good old you Darvish. Francisco Lindor actually starting to hit a little bit better now. He started off the year bad. Uh, I think batting like 220 or something like that or lower. Come around and played a little bit better. That's the premier level, by the way. Uh, Jose Abreu, 25 man. Jose Abreu. And then your scope parallel is, <laughs> didn't we pull him already? Salvador Perez in scope. That's a concourse. But, oh, well. Jose Abreu does not tell you if it's anything. And then, of course, concourse will select. So, all right. Let's go for the next pack. See what we got. <clears throat> Jorge Guzman. We got two silvers in this one. Jorge Guzman, rookie card. The next card is a silver of Jose Ramirez, 25 man silver. Jose Ramirez, 25 man. And another silver right behind it is Yaz. Got the Yaz. I think this would be his third year card, I think. The scope is. Hmm. Candelario scope. So a Yaz and a Candelario scope. Not numbered. Neither one of these are numbered. That's premier level. And then, of course, the concourse level. So, all right. Last pack of the first blaster. Come on. There you go. Not bad. A little start. A little Tatis action in concourse. A little top. Tatis. See what we got behind it is Walker Bueller, Premier level. Walker Bueller. And, ooh, another Tatis moonshots. These are harder to pull. I don't think they're considered SP, but they're, you know, like out of packs. I don't know. You have to look at the odds on it. Actually, we can look here in just a second. Uh, but that's a nice Tatis moonshot right there. And then we've got an Esteban Floreal. I think we just pulled him in scope already. So the correlation is real. The correlation is real. That'd be something if we got a bunch of, you know, sweet looking rookie cards again. But let's look at the moonshot. See if they say anything. No, they don't give odds. All they do is tell you basically the what you can get at number two. They don't say like out of 45 packs or nothing like that, which I wish all of them did. All right. Let's go to the second blaster. Three packs in that bad boy. He's off to the side. I like that Tatis Moonshot, though. That's a sweet looking card. There's Shalani. All right. Hung Jin Ru. Hung Jin Ru. Right there. Premier. Looks like we got two silvers in this as well, or scope and silver. We got a Mitchell White for the Dodgers. Rookie card. Mitchell White. And Dustin May. Carrot Top. Got a flying tomato right there in prism. And then our scope is David Peterson. He's not a bad little pitcher right there. David Peterson, New York. Didn't appear on the New York radar for this season. By the end of the South Paul, I come into place in rotation in 2021. Solid starter. All right. Nice scope. I'm going to put him in front of Jose Ramirez. Sorry, Jose. All right, pack number two in the blaster. How many select do you have, Dwight? I actually have um, Tom got two, Farmer League got one, and Derek got two. So I have two left. Two left is all I got left right now. Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola, concourse. It does seem that way, don't we? Doesn't it, uh, Farmer League? Mainly a lot of them in scope. Trevor Story. Premier or concourse, and we have got an Anthony Rizzo star. And I have a feeling this is going to be a Max Freed. Look at that! That's a Hall of Famer right there, buddy. Hall of Famer all day long. This is the okay. So it's just a star. So it's another level of 
inserts or something like that. But a sweet looking card. I thought it might be like a diamond or a field or something like that. But a select, kind of like the select certified rookie cards of last year. But that's a sweet one. Let me put that out. I want to set that. Bad boy. Jose Brady he goes in front of him. All right, here we go. What's up, Lewis? How you doing, buddy? Uh, select stars is the insert set. Yeah, I thought it was an insert set. All right, last pack of blaster number two. Got a Tyler Glass now. Concourse. Joey Bart. There we go. I think it's that's either one or two of our best rookie pools so far. Love the Bart. Nice Bart. And see that. Dumbass. Dumbass Panini. Got a dent right there in the card. What a bunch of ass hats. Oh, well. Joey Barton. This is a premier level. Had to be in one of our better ones, right? See the premier level. Nice card nonetheless. Joey Bart. I'm just leaving it regardless. All right. We're going to put him in front of Jose Guzman. We got a Javi Baez sensation. And our last scope is Justin Turner. Justin Turner in the scope. Anybody check out, see what the we're looking at as far as uh, there's a nice high, hobby bias. I'm curious, I didn't even check how many cards are in this set. Because if they're like 60, 600 cards in this set, oh my gosh, 12 cards. Because um, even the, um, even the, uh, Baseball, football, I think, only had a 20 card set and four variations of it. So, which made it, you know, easier to pull some of the rookies. If this thing has got a 600 card set and three variations of it, it's going to be almost impossible to pull some, some, some of the killer cards that you would consider um, rookie cards at. I think the Lewis Garcia is probably our best one so far, but I like the Joey Bart. That's probably one, that's my personal favorite rookie card so far. Um, but let me get you a stack started here, Derek, and we'll get into some Bowman. Maybe we get a little bit more heat in Bowman. A non existent than that. I believe they said 100 card set. 100 card set. Where's all the freaking, like, we've only pulled, like, what, out of these four blasters, like, two good rookies I would consider that's well known, and that's Joey Bard and Luis Garcia. Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of some of the premier? Ricky cards. Did they not put them in there or something? Heck, I don't know. All right. I know we're going to save the Mega to last, so let's go to the Blaster. Anybody collect oversized box letter variations of SC Blasters? Like, let me get a Blaster of Select. I'll send payment shipping to 31. Um, yes, that's correct, Shalani. I'll put you down right behind Farm League. Number four, Shalani. That means I got one Blaster left of Select. All right, Shalini. All right, Derek. Maybe we put a little bit more magic here in this Bow Mound Blast Hour. All right, here we go. 250 includes inserts. Okay, well, see, that's not bad. I mean, that's that's not a bad checklist to pull the rookie cards, even if it's only 12 bucks or, or 12 bucks, 12 cards a pack or a blaster. You would think that we would. I don't know. Maybe that one's loaded up. Who knows? I have no idea. But you would think that we'd get some more of the elite rookies, at least one per box, you would think, versus like one out of every three or four boxes. So, oh, well, it is what it is, right? All right, here we go. Bowman, Joey Gallo, Vladdy, Lubov, a little Lubov action there, Freddie Freeman, Tanner Houck rookie card, Sam Huff rookie, Dalton Varsho rookie, and our chrome is Nick Bitsko. Or Bisco and a first Bowman of Gilbert Sanchez. There we go. Started off with a good little chrome first right there. Bryce Jarvis, Pete Crow Armstrong, and Tyler Freeman. All right, not a bad first pack right there to start it off. 250 Bowman chrome. Uh, so they don't all have level variations. They broke it up into levels and put players only in one level. So they're is only one of each base per player. You've ripped four blasters of 48 cards with a couple of doubles. Is a checklist that bad? Um, 
I, like I said, I, I haven't looked at the checklist, Tom. You would think that I would think that all the premier rookies would be in there, but I never did check. You know, I would assume being as a later product, you know, not an early product like series one, that all the rookies we've seen so far should be in this product, like Key Brian Hayes, you know, all those good ones. Um, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it might, should be even easier to pull. You would think there's a Brady singer right there for you. Alex Baum, rookie card. There we go. Nolan Arnado, Juan Soto. Hadn't heard of him. Aaron Judge, Mike Skrimsky, and our Robert Hassel is our Chrome Futurist. Another Chrome first of Jared Kelly. All right, so you're a Red Sox, you're a White Sox fan now because we got two first in White Sox, just like you was. Uh, Who did you collect last time that we pulled so many of? I can't remember now. Max Myers, pretty good in Chrome. Not his first, but still. C.J. Abram, C.J. Chatham, and Jordan Bellagio. Lots of scrubs in a checklist for sure. Huh. I mean, is Key Bryan and the rest of them, you know, some of the good, what we consider good rookies that we're hunting for? We know Lewis is in there, Lewis, Lewis Garcia. Um, some of the other good rookies in there as well. Let's pull me a one of one You know it, always. I pull so many one of ones I have like, a wall full of them. I think I pulled like so far 2,000 one on ones. Boba Shit, Trevor Bauer, Corey Solaire. There you go. Jesus Sanchez. Not bad. We'll put a Jesus Sanchez up there. Alex Kirloff. He's developing into a rookie we're looking for a lot now. Uh, Jose Garcia, rookie card. Another Max Meyer. So that's two Max Meyer. Number 38 is Chrome. A Drew Romo. And Kit Cavaco. Maximo Acosta first. Yeah. Matthew Thompson and D.L. Hall. Is this the Blaze channel, right? Yeah, of course. I'm guaranteed tonight that I'm going to pull at least one Blaze. It's guaranteed. I got, do I still got that one on one? It's still up for sale. I haven't sold it yet. Let me see. There it is. Yep, still got it. Still got the hollow silver Justin Herbert one of one post-it card. You see that? It's got the RC logo, got the football, you know, um, laces out. So, yeah, still got him. Still up for sale, except in any type of bids, you know. And if you collect somebody else, let me know. I'm sure I got another one of one that I can I can get you. That's no big deal. Just a pinstroke away a little bit. Got a uh, Jimenez, Dylan Carlson, Ricky Card. <laughs> There's a neck problem. Well, I mean, yeah, he, he got hit so many times. That's probably what it was. Miggy. Max Kepler. Glaber. Blake Snell. And a Ricky Card of Luis Garcia. There we go. That's a little Luis Garcia and Chrome. And Brandon Marsh, Chrome, and Kristen Robinson. Kristen Robinson. Byron Scott, Andrew Vaughn's not bad. We're going to put him up there. I like Andrew Vaughn and Nick York. Tell him not to skip leg day. <laughs> he does do that. You know, he does look kind of flimsy, but I mean, I, I tried to do the likeness of him as best I could. So. It was pretty good. I, did, I I got an A in artwork, as you can tell. Finkel. <laughs> yeah, Finkel. Laces out. You, Darvish. Turek Scooball. A little Scooball action. Clark Schmidt. Tristan McKenzie. Look at that. Hall of Famer, baby. Hall of Famer, Ian Anderson. He's always going to go up there. Nick Magical. Getting a lot of traction on his cards now. Everybody's starting to look at him a little bit. We've got a talent pipeline here for the Astros. Force Whitley, is he ever going to get to the majors and start pitching a little bit? I've seen on how many of his prospect cards. Come on, get up there and start pitching. The first moment, here we go. Jake Vogel, all right. Look at Jake Vogel. And another first right behind it is Raz, Detroit. All right. We're going to line up some first moment chrome here. Robert Hassel, Diaz, Oswald Perez. 
she's she's a man worst case of hemorrhoids ever <laughs> he's injured who's injured which one Garrett Crotchet, Ricky Guard, Jose Altuve, who has declined going to the All Star, and we've got a nice card in this one right here. Let's see what we got here. I see something shiny in the back back here. Pete Alonso, Manny Machado, Luis Garcia, Sixto for Sixto, Jordan Alvarez, Tyler Freeman. We're going to hold off on that and go from the back. Uh, Espinoza. Julio Rodriguez. And Montero. All right. Tyler Freeman. Who are you hiding? I got some, I got some, got some bass boat sparkles going on. Let's see a first. I don't see a first. I see a catcher, though. Who is this bad boy? Francisco Alvarez. And it's got bass boat sparkles. Come on, is this thing not numbered? Are you kidding me? Am I missing something here? Oh, there it is. Golly, it's hard to see. It is two, it's hard to see, 292 out of 299. Francisco Alvarez. So you get a number card. You got Bass Boat Sparkles. You put a hook on that bad boy and you're guaranteed to get a baseball collector. Guaranteed to collect a, collect a baseball collector out of that. Nice stripper sparkle right there. I'm going to put him right there. Whoa, my boy, my boy, Francisco Alvarez. <laughs> Is 6'2 injured now? Yes, he's uh, Grayworth. He's out. Um, I think he's out for the year. Um, Alvarez uh, Stevenson. Bass Boat Sparkles. Best name ever. You turn right. Bass Boat Sparkles. All right. One more box for good old Derek. We got a mega box of Bowman. We're looking for. Something special in the mojos. We know the base is going to be base, and we're going to look for some chrome in the base, hopefully. I'm sure we're going to get a Blaze Jordan out of here. I mean, the odds are we've already, we're already bypassing the odds. It's almost like a guarantee now we're getting a Blaze Jordan, you know? I mean, it's it's a given. It's a given to get a Blaze Jordan. Yep, out for the season. Yep. All right, here we go. First base pack. Bass boats for. All right, Joey Gallo. Let's get some chrome out of this. Vladdy Guerrero Jr., little Louis Lou Bob, Freddie Freeman, Hall of Famer, Tanner Houck. Get out of the way, cards. And our chrome is Bo Naylor. I think one cent pulled like every Bo Naylor possible in a rainbow out of Sapphire. And Matthew Libertor, Diaz, Oswald Perez, and we got a first here, Gabriel Aria, Arias. We'll put him over here. Uh, can't put him in front of Bass Boat Sparkles. Mm. We'll put him behind Bass Boat Sparkles. All right. Next pack. Triple Glitter Parallel. <laughs> Sam Huff, rookie card. Dalton Barshow. I think we've seen this already. Brady Singer. And there's another Alex Baum. Put him behind here. We can't go in front of that. We need something else in front of these to outrank them. Nolan Arnado. And we got a Brendan Davis. Come on first. Pete Crow Armstrong's not bad. Julio Rodriguez, Daniel Espinizo, and O'Neill Carew. T-Bone, you up for a watching Eloy Stimmer's hit? Wants to come down here and meet us and go down to watch a game. Maybe, uh, maybe not this weekend. Maybe next weekend or something like that. Maybe or something when we get Eloy at home or something like that. We can watch him. Juan Soto, Aaron, uh, Aaron Judge, Mike Yaz, Bo B. Shit. That's what's wrong. I need some of those build hands bass. Buster glasses to see the hidden message in that pattern. Uh, Trevor Bauer and our chromage is Tristan Casa and come on first Seth Beer. You know that guy's a drunk. A first Eddie Diaz, 
Garrett Mitchell and Zach Beans. We got two non first, but good cards there. We're going to put our first up here, right behind them. Got to outrank what we got out there in order to get in front. Build Dance Bass Boats. All right, got a Ryan Mountcastle. Maybe the correlation will be a little bit different here. Got a Ryan Mountcastle there. That's a good one. Goes back behind everything. Christian Javier. Brandon Braylon Marquette. Shoei Otani. God, these cards are hot now. Man, it's crazy how much these prices have gone up on Shohei. Go check it out on eBay. Charlie Blackman and Emerson Hancock. That ain't bad, even though he is a Mariner player. And Nick Allen. Kate Cavaco. We are seeing him. Marsh and for them up. All right, so we're getting down to why we buy the Megas. And why we want it. And it's, of course, for the mojos. This is what we want the hits at. Let me see if I can feel any difference between these two. Kind of feel the same. I don't know. Maybe the top one's a little thicker. Maybe. I don't know. But let's go into this one first. Uh, I feel like I need to hear uh, Trevor Bauer is now getting distanced out by his own teammates there. I'm following him on social media. Must be the sign. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. We just pulled him, I think. Kristen Robinson. Mojo. Good luck, Derek. Here we go. Grayson Rodriguez. You got a rookie card coming up of Ian Anderson. Well, at least you got a Hall of Famer out of it so far. And Zaya Gray. I'm sorry, but Ian Anderson outranks that number card. I'm sorry. And Brandon Shoemaker, another Hall of Famer. Two Hall of Famers in one pack. It's not bad, but still, we need some first out of it. Let's get into the last pack here, Mojo. Good luck, Derek. Here we go. Come on. Big money, big money, no whammies. Robert Hassel. Robert Hassel. Spencer Torkelson's good. Take a Spencer Tork. There's on the first set. Ah, you got one. Not a first, but you got the auto. On card, too, baby. Drew Romo, catcher. I heard he bats like 500. 500 on base percentage is 2,000, something like that. Hits a ton. In the minor league, his first season, he had 67 home runs. That was in one game. One game. So there you go. That's a little bit of information I know about Drew Romo. Just a little bit. Just throwing it out there. All right. Next card, Jordan Adams. Now we just need a little bit of chrome. First, we got one more card to do it on. Jo uh, Jordan Adams, come on first. Come on. Come on. You're not there. Jared Duran. I like Jared Duran, though. I like Jared Duran. It's not his first. And man, is that damn thing cut off center or what? These last two were. Look at them. Look at the left to right on them. Looks like a cross-eyed guy cut this one. Cut these two. Or a guy with one eye. Uh, one eye and maybe the other guy had a fish in it or something like that. Yeah, glass eye. But um, Yeah, they're a little off center. Now, the auto, that thing is perfectly centered. That's a good cut. But nice Drew Romo. Maybe not the person we was after, but hey, an auto in Mojo can't go wrong. I know, blazeless. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? We still got more blasters, though. So, you know, maybe it's just, maybe he's playing hard to get now. You never know. Sometimes they play hard to get. Blaze could be. He knows that we've been pulling a lot of them. He's like, hey, man, relax on me, dude. I don't want my car bay to go down. You know, quit pulling like 55 blazes in one night. All right. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate you buying in, buddy. Appreciate the trade and everything like that. We traded for a little bit of products. So, there we go. Got you a nice little thick stack here, Derek. Thank you for coming in, buddy. I'm going to put you off to the side. Get you taken care of. Put a little check mark by you. Check mark by Tom. Uh, have not done Farm League yet, I don't think. Nope. Have not done Farm League. All right, so we got the last three blasters of select. If I'd have known, I, I, I polled everybody to see if they wanted more select. I could have got a few more select, but I left them on the shelf for somebody else. Probably shouldn't have done it, but 
Either way. Um, Sloth and the Goonies doing the QC. Looks like it, doesn't it? The baby roof. All right, Farm League. You got one, two, or three. Pick your poison, big boy. Pick your poison. One, two, or three. You should know better. If it's shiny, don't leave it on the shelf. I don't know. I probably should have grabbed more. I don't know. But I mean, I, I think there was probably like eight there, and I grabbed like, I think it was ten. I grabbed eight. That's what I did. I left two on the shelf. Probably should have grabbed the other two. Middle. All right. In the middle. All right. You got two left. Shalani gets picked from the last two. Shalani. Is like, why did you pick the middle one? I'm glad you picked the middle one. I don't want the middle one anyway, is what Shalani said. So we're going to find out if you're right or not, Shalani. Always with the left on the ship. I'm leaving nothing on the ship. I can tell you right now, if it was football or basketball, uh, probably wouldn't left nothing on the ship. <laughs> but baseball, I figure I can always get some more select if need be. Just didn't know if everybody wanted it or not. It's kind of like I said, it's a hit and miss product. It's a, it's a true, probably one of the more true gambles of, of blasters you can get with limited cards. All right, here we go, Farm League. First one, here we go. I have not grade worthy, and I probably won't open much of it. I, I bought one box, and I put it in my PC box for collection purposes. Anytime I buy blasters, I always keep one and put it up. And sometimes if I buy more, I put some for me to rip and some for, you know, retail sales. So, or team breaks or whatever. Only about one of absolute, and I put that, just basically put it up. I'm not interested in ripping much of it. Me personally, if y'all want me to get some absolute, I, I passed up. I left like 10 on the shelf today. If you want me to get more, let me know, and I'll grab it. That's no big deal. Um, here we go. First pack, we got a Jemiah Jones rookie card. For Baltimore, I got a Cure Lock Auto out of 99, but otherwise was uneventful. Yep. Next one is the first time I've seen one upside down for some reason. Maybe that's a good sign. Jose Abreu, we already seen him already. Concourse. And we have we seen the Hobby Baez Sensation? I know we've seen the Sensation. I know we've seen the Hobby Baez. I don't know if they're both. Let's see what we got in our scope. Our scope. Well, that might be the reason why people are not into select as much. There's another Brent Roker. We pulled him already in scope, I think. Ricky card. So, why couldn't we get like a, I don't know, Key Brian Hayes run? You know, who knows? We might get into one. All right. Anthony Rendon, I picked up a couple blasters today, but have not opened them yet. Did not know if anyone hit anything good with it. Not me, very worthy. I haven't, I haven't opened up any of them. So you're asking the wrong person right here. Anthony Rendon, Mookie Betts, um, and we got a silver behind it. Ah, oh, Louis Patino. This is a, this is our first one we got. I think, but you see it. I don't know if you can or not. It says diamond level. So this was actually the look of the um, field, not field, but the club level in football. The exact same look, but they call it diamond level in baseball. So that might be the elite if there's only three series. But Mookie Betts, the nice little diamond level there. And Louis Patino is our silver we got in it. I just wanted to try and put these cards in the green parallels and struck it out. Wow, this is getting a little ridiculous. Yeah. A scope parallel of, look at there. Where's, hey, where, we got a Hall of Famer here, but where is Oddball? Oddball probably give you a thousand dollars for this Dansby Swanson. He is a huge Dansby collector. Huge. Incredible Dansby Swanson and Anthony Rendon. All right. Yes, Diamond are the rarest in baseball. Okay, so there's only three levels in. Three levels on. All right, last pack in the blaster. Kyle Tucker. I think we've seen him before. Ah, 
Now, now we're getting somewhere. Jazz Chisholm. There we go. There we go. Now it's looking up. That's a good one right there. The Danimal. Straight to my PC. The Danimal. But a Jazz Chisholm rookie card. That's a good one. And then Anthony Rizzo. Right behind it. I like the Jazz Chisholm. That's one of the, I guess, considered top five rookie cards you can pull. Right there. Right? Am I thinking that right? Anthony Rizzo. And our scope is Jared Oliva. Scope. For a minute there, I was like, man, why is this thing peeling? But for some reason, that's just the way it's made. It looks like he's got like holes in his britches. Right there here. That's just the way the card's made. Uh, concourse, prison level, Jared Oliva. So, I mean, the Jazz Chisholm is probably our hit out of that blaster. Still not bad. I mean, like I said, when you're when you're pulling twelve cards, come on. L let's look at let's get into reality. What are you really expecting to get out of twelve cards? You know, if you get one, I'd say that's a success, right? Out of twelve cards, one of the good rookie cards, one of the top ten, let's just say rookie cards. If we get one out of a blaster with twelve cards, I think that that's considered an above average blaster. So just depending on what the value is on them, I have no clue. I haven't checked select value. But a nice Jazz Chisholm rookie card in that. that and the um, the Lewis Garcia doesn't deserve a top loader, but Jazz Chisholm does for sure. <laughs> Just to get Tom stirred up a little bit. But now we might have to we might have to sleeve that one up. Maybe I don't know. It'll be close. But not bad, Farm Lee. Not bad. I'd say definitely an above average blaster. No auto, no number though, but. Got you right there, Farm League. Come on, Panini. Come on. You're welcome, Farm League. Put you off to the side. And then we got Shalani. Shalani. Are you there, Shalani? You got the last two selects. Left or right? You decide. And nobody buys that last one. Hell, I'll open it. I don't care. Number one. You want number one. So nobody wants this blaster. Oh, all right. Okay. I'll set off to the side. I'll set off to the side. <laughs> Left is right. Right is wrong. <laughs> we'll see if Shalani's picker is up to par. I mean, he already picked a blaster with this Juan Soto cat on it, so I don't know how much picking, you know, he can do. I don't even why I show the box. It's like, okay, is there three packs in there or not? <laughs> <coughs> Ain't hard to count three, right? And a rookie scope. Get a rooker scope. All right, we're looking for a rooker scope. Here we go. Rooker scope for Shalane. First pack, four cards in a pack. Austin Meadows for Tampa Bay, concourse. Austin Meadows. It's about 30% 30 shot at one Mariner. All right. All right. Our rookie in this one is Traveras. Lady Traveras. And looks like we've got some type of insert going on here. Ooh, Chatty P. Chatty P. Now, why would he be considered a 25 man? I don't know. 25 man. Maybe he's the top 25 people in the set, I guess, gets this. I don't know. But a Mike Trout, nonetheless, Chatty P probably give you a bazillion dollars for that. That's a bazillion dollar card. Some brought this new girl around to me. Oh. Uh, our scope. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. A Hall of Famer. Scope Parallel. Now, I know I'm biased, but he's definitely considered a top 10 rookie card this year. Christian Pache. For a minute, I thought that was a big ding down here, but it's not. It's just the way the scope is. But it's Concord, so it's the base. Still a nice scope, Christian Pache. 
nice Christian Pache. Might have to get the put it in a a sealed one touch with a bunch of duct tape all around it. I don't know. We'll decide that here in a minute. Farm League is like, why didn't I pick that blaster? Why didn't I pick that blaster, right? <laughs> All right, next pack. All right. Victor Gonzalez. Nice Victor Gonzalez. And this would be the premier level. All right. Now, this one, I think, is the diamond level. And it's a rookie. Don't know much about Edward uh, Colina. But either way, we got a silver behind it of Willie Adams. Yep, diamond level. So that's the highest level you can go. And it's a rookie card. He just got to pan out, right? Willie Adams, silver for Tampa Bay. And if you look at this card, nice job, Panini. You can see right there, nice little dent right there in the chrome for you. I think that's free of charge, Shalini. If you want another one to match on the other side, let me know. I'll put a hammer mark right there. But I don't know what they're doing to cards. I mean... Running through rollers, are they really taking cards and quality check and just testing them before, you know, bang, all right, that's good. Pass, go, you know. Yeah, that's not bad. Not a rookie card, but a nice Gavin Lux, second-year card and scope. Not a bad little scope right there, Gavin Lux. He's starting to get some traction now. Nice scope right there, Gavin Lux. All right, here we go. You'll put it in, in a one touch. Last pack for Shillaney. All right, Cincinnati guy. Where's MP at? TJ Anton, I think it is. There's no recourse. Yep. Next one. All right, we've got another rookie. Uh, Hardee's or Houston Moonshot. Oh, where's T Bone at? Where's T Bone? Moonshot, Bryce Harper. A little bit harder to pull. Insert Moonshot, Bryce Harper. And our last scope is Jose Berrios. Jose Berrios, but a nice moonshot of Bryce. The Harper, right? Bryce the Harper. There, there. I know. I knew they get T Bone's attention right there. Sweet. <laughs> nice bowling packs. Thanks, Don. You're welcome, Stephen. I know you're a little bit behind. Put a nice little trout. There most of these rookies. I know a lot. There's there's a few of them I haven't heard of myself. So I don't know if. They're taking the leftovers and leaving the good ones out or what? But, you know, still a nice little, nice little pack right there. That Christian Pache will definitely be in the one-half touch there, Shalini. No problem. All right. You got your cards. We'll set them off to the side, Shalini. You're welcome. Anybody else? Take a look. If you want baseball, basketball, football, what you want. I still got one select blaster left. I don't know if y'all uh, watch. Um, uh, what's the name of the cars with uh, Deuces, with uh, Gin and Juice? Oh, man, what is her name? They started off doing a lot of Pokemon. Now they kind of do a lot of sports. Oh, they always say never leave the last one on the shelf. I left two on the shelf, but anyway. There's one more select blaster if anybody wants it. If not, let me know. Uh, Mike M22 is 26 plus shipping. I don't think I got anything for you, uh, M22, so it would be five shipping. And, of course, I can always keep your cards up to about two weeks, something like it, even a little longer if you want to. If you want to buy some more stuff to add to the shipping, I'll be more than happy to do that. Loot Box, that's it, Tom. Loot Box. I know this couldn't remember, but I watch their channel all the time. They, they break some high-end stuff. I mean, they're, they'll break like $5,000 blasters and stuff like that i love watching them they're funny deuces they are at the end of the set deuces dab at the very end so. but yeah i like luke box yeah i like the guys pretty cool uh in case you didn't see at the beginning 
I'm getting ready to put these on eBay in case anybody wants it. A Zion uh, Gem Mint for 140. Nice optic rookie card. Zion Williams. A Luca Doncic putting that for 265. That's his rookie there and Donruss. And then a Herbie asking 250 for the 250 for the Herbie optic rookie. Jim Mint. Time to pass up on some cards. Get some more graded whatever to fuel the spending habit. They spend, they do spend some stupid money. You are crazy, right? I mean, and they don't, if you ever watch them, they, I know they buy a bunch of singles and stuff like that, but they just rip. They rip, rip, rip. That's the reason why I like it. Like, I like watching them and everything like that because they'll, they'll just rip the crap out of stuff. They don't care the price. And I know their return can't be there. It can't be. I know they've hit some big cars. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, and they hobby exclusive. Hardly ever they, they rip retail. They're going for the high-end stuff. You know, they want the one-on-ones or whatever. They spend some crazy amount of money. Uh, Chatty P, I can. Or um, if somebody else wants it, I'll be more than happy to sell it to them. I've got me like one or two put up for me to rip later on. I'm sure I might find some more. So I bought it mainly for the channel if somebody wants it. If not, I could always throw it in like a team break or something like that. So it's no big deal um, for me either way. Rip that last one. I still got, I got like one or two more that I put up. So I still can. I've got some for me to rip. This is for y'all if you want it. If not, it's no big deal. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not here to push cards. If you want something, you get it. If you don't, that's fine as well. No big deal to me. Because I can tell you right now, if it sits on my shelf too long, it's going to end up in these hands like it's right here, and I'm going to rip the crap out of it. What's up, RBA? How are you doing, buddy? You doing all right? It's been a while since I've seen you, RBA. Was you on the last stream or not? I can't remember. Cannot remember, but I'll take it. Tom wants the last one. All right. So Tom wants to do the gamble. Let me put down here three select blasters in. Three select. All right. And like I said, this is one that's got a little damage right here in the corner. If the cards are damaged, which I don't think they are because they're in the very center. If they are, then like I said, I'll refund your money. It's no big deal, Tom. My new job is killing me. Or you can be just like half the people. Um, RVA, you just sit at home and make probably about the same amount of money through the government. You know? Yeah. We'll, but that's a different topic. We won't go there. We won't go there. All right, Lewis. We'll be here. All right, let me check Farm League. Let me check Shalini. Like I said, if anybody wants to see basketball, football, baseball, check the uh, description below. And uh, there's more than just select. Now, we're all out of select. I do got some, like I said, this is something new that just come out. I know that this is not a soccer channel by any stretch of the imagination, but the new thing of Chronicle Soccer that just come out. There's 15 cards in that. Um, I don't even remember what I had that thing listed for. I can't remember. But it was either 15, 16, 17, 18, something like that. I can't remember. But um, check the comments below. But that's the Chronicles. That's the new release of soccer. They just come out in the market this week. So anyway, I don't have much of that. I think I only brought like six. And I put two up for me to uh, just put in my PC and four to sell. So what's up, James Palmer? How you doing, buddy? Here we go. Good luck, Tom. Twelve more cards. We got one auto. Haven't got any numbered card yet. Okay, for a minute there, I was getting ready to thank Pete, thank Panini again for a nice scratch right across Aaron Judge. All right, here we go. Good luck, Tom. Aaron Judge, first card. Ah, there we go. He's definitely a top ten rookie card. Alex Kirloff. Alex Kirloff. Enjoy the lake life. Everybody said that you was drunk on the sofa with, um, that's right, Tom, that's right. Your auto was numbered. Um, but um, uh, with, what was that, brown dog or something you was drinking or something like that, shot dog or something, I can't remember what it was. But nice Alex Kirloff right there. So we're starting off good already. 
And I don't think we've pulled this guy yet in sensation. I think it's the first time. Well, maybe three times now. Javi Baez, sensation. He's they want to they want to pump Javi Baez for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I got all blasters that was supposed to go to um, uh, cards for days. I don't know. A scope of well, it's not a bad player right there. I don't know what the hell's going through the middle of that. But a uh, Raffy uh, Raffy Big Stick. Look at that. What the hell is that? It's not on the surface. It's underneath the card. It's not like a roller run across it and scratch the surface. The surface is beautifully clean. It's like under the chrome. Like the card is made that way. That is weird. Maybe it's a belt line cut. I don't know, right? That's kind of weird. That's the first one we've seen like that. I don't know if it's because of its scope or what, but it's a beautiful QC, right? You can't see it. You can't see that. Whatever. I know better than that. You can see that. I think you're being facetious. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pack number two. Garrett Crotchet. <laughs> Your rookie card. And a, a Johnny Cueto. That's your uh, diamond level. So that's your highest level. We got a silver behind it. Concourse. A Jorge Ona. Turned up. Who does that? I mean, I don't have to say who that looks like. First one in the chat. Who is that right there? When you cover that name, who do you think that is? Unknowing who that name is. If you looked at that for the first time, you're thinking, boom, who we got? That's Lou Bob. Looks exactly like him. Yeah, looks like a Robert. But it's, hell, it might be. The QC is for real. It could be. We don't have a number, nothing like that. All we got is a player. Could be. <laughs> and we got a scope of Kylie. We haven't pulled him yet in scope, but that's a Danimal right there. At least he don't have a belt line scratch going across or a built-in belt line. Did you get a rookie there? And it is silver. I just don't I just wasn't, wasn't paying attention, but that's a silver. So nice silver one there. Burn it. Don't you know? I know you didn't say burn a Hall of Famer. All right, last pack. I'll trade you that dance before that soda you pulled. I don't know if I'm that big of a uh <laughs> of that big of a nerd dance type of fan. Braxton Garrett, rookie card from Miami. I think we've already pulled him already. Don't even ship it to you, bad juju. <laughs> Uh, Paul Goldsmith, I was getting ready to say, I haven't pulled any Paul Goldsmith tonight yet, so I guess we're due. I always pull a Paul Goldsmith. And an insert here, some type of stars. Anthony Rizzo, we have not pulled a stars Anthony Rizzo yet tonight. So there you go. And our scope. Lady, uh, Lid Lidoti. Travaris, whatever. Travaris for Texas. Rookie Scope Parallel. Concourse. So, we did get an Alex Kirloff, which, like we said earlier, 12 cards. If you get one of the top 10 rookie, we consider that a good blaster with 12 cards. And I think that this is definitely, we'll grade this a B blaster. Alex Kirloff, what do we think he is? If you had to rate all the rookies, what would he be? Number four, five, six, seven, two, three. I know he's not number one. I wouldn't consider him number one. Um, would he be in the two to seven range, seven to eight range? What do you think, Alex Kirloff? How high up would we put Alex on the scale of rookie cards this year, desired rookies? I think Key Brian will be in the top three for sure. Pache wins. <laughs> Pache wins. Oh, of course he is. 
He's five-ish. Well, yeah, there you go. Five-ish rookie card right there out of 12 cards. I consider that a victory. I mean, I know it's not, you know, everybody wants the one-on-ones and the number cards and autos and everything like that, but 12 cards limit. What else can you do, right? All right. Anybody else want anything else? Anything else? So we have Stephen Cards, Tom, Farm League, and Shalane in there. Ken was a rookie. Cronin's worth. Yeah, I think he is. Yep. Yep. He counts as a rookie. Did you get your target hangers yet, Dwight? Which one? Uh, he's number one in my books. Yeah. I, I mean, very good possibility. If you're talking about hangers for um, top series one or two, yes. Those right there. If that's what you're talking about, yes. I don't know if that's the hangers you're talking about, but they just shipped out the, uh, um, and I have several of those, and they just shipped out my Prism uh, football hangers, so they should be on the way. Yeah, Series 2. So I think I put them in the thing, I think. Yeah, Series 2. I got them. Uh, when did I get them? I think I got them. M22, thanks for subscribing, buddy. Um, I think I put them in, when did I get those? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I think yesterday I got them in, the mail. So, but once again, Mike, thanks for subscribing to me. But, yeah, I put them in there. I thought I did. Let me see here. Let me look through my comments. Series 1. Yeah, hangers in there, 16. Yeah. We got 10 I put out there, 10 in stock. I got more than that, but, but I'm going to rip some of them to sell for sure. So, yeah, I'll put them out there. So, I'll be ripping some of those for sure. Tops is always fun to rip, right? You can always rip the crap out of that. So, if there's nothing else out there, then I might find something for me to rip. Do you want me to rip football? Did you buy the full allotment of prism hangers? They were three pack bundles. Yes. So I should be getting nine in. That's correct, Tom. Yeah. That's the most they'll let me get. And believe me, I was pretty quick on the trigger on getting those when I seen them drop. Um, uh, I need number 1515 in the Soto set. All right. I'll put a note down there, Chatty P. If I pull any, I haven't opened up a lot of series two. Uh, but if I get the number five and 12, um, I'll put a note on that. Um, but, um, yeah, I've got the full nine allotment, and I probably will get that. They said it shipped out today, probably Monday or Tuesday of next week, maybe Wednesday, something like that. I got none of those two yet. Um, I mean, I, I like Prism Draft. That's that's me. I mean, uh, any other draft, eh, hit and miss, you know. But Prism Draft football is my favorite Prism Draft product. Um, uh, last year, I pulled a bunch of good. Uh, Prism Draft rookies in there, uh, numbered cards. I mean, I made my money back plus some, uh, just selling about five or six cards, and then I still had a lot of leftovers. So, um, it's, it you know, if you like college jerseys, that's your best product by far. If you don't like college jersey, it's still the best one with college jersey. So, um, all right, what do you, if nobody else is buying in? Let me know. What do you mean, rip? baseball, football, or basketball? And I'll rip something in that. I'll find something pretty good to rip. Since Tom is scared to go after the big money products. <laughs> I JP, no worries. I still got the trout to trade you. <laughs> foosball. Tom voted for foosball. Tom wants to see some foosball. Um. see here what could I rip in foosball I know what I want to rip but I'm scared because I, I like the product too much and it sells for wicked money um, but let me see here you know what
Yeah. Let's do this. I have one of these left. And you know me. I love. I will send you a free Fossey coupon, Shalady. Do a Prism Mega Football. Yeah. Yeah, be dangerous. I can tell you right now, this right here is pretty dangerous. I know it's a hanger, and it's not by far a Mega, but hangers sell for more money than blasters. Well, I wouldn't say that. They don't. But they pull the best fire. I've only got one. And to be honest with you, I paid, re I paid retail or secondary market price for this probably about paid too much for it probably but i wanted it um about a month ago i paid 80 bucks yes i know i know 80 bucks for this one hanger and to be honest with you it was a screw up because i thought i was buying a blaster and i could, then after i sent the money i didn't have the heart to tell him now nah, send my money back i was like screw it it's a, it's a hanger i'll take it wasn't even paying attention. I seen this picture right here. Didn't even see the 20. Wasn't even paying attention. I just seen 80 bucks. I'm like, oh, that's a good deal for a blaster. So I bought it. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? But, uh, yeah, yeah. Alex, 80. Yeah. I paid 80 for it. And it was my error. At that time, and hell, I can tell you right now, probably about a year from now, this thing will probably be $150. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to rip it because I can't stand to see hangers on my shelf. I can withstand a little bit of blasters. I can withstand some cellos. I can't stand to see hangers on my shelf. I love ripping hangers. So here we go. Let's see if the $80 was a good investment. All right. 20 cards. So basically, if you look at it, secondary market, I'm paying $4 per card. There's 80 of them in here. I didn't pay tax or not like it. It was flat out 80. I think that did include shipping too. So woo, big deal, right? Yeah. Here we go. I've got to make $4 per card. Let's see if we can do it. That's the challenge. I do see some blue scope parallels in the back, which are guaranteed. We're going to start off with a Dak Prescott. We're going to do a little loot box. How does he rip his card? Just like it right there. Puts them right in his thumb in his hand. And he rips them just like this right here. <laughs> Dak Prescott. Got a Jimmy G. It's a, two quarterbacks. That's not bad. Will Fuller. He had a good season last year. Good season last year. Tyreek Hill. Another good wide receiver. Little Tyreek Hill. Devontae Parker. Okay, we're going downhill a little bit. <laughs> going downhill. Devontae Parker. Chris Godwin. We went up a little bit. Wide receiver. You get to randomly say boom. Okay. Boom! Oh, Josh Jacobs. No. No, it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Sam Darnold. He plays for the uh, Panthers now. Technically, that could be a boom. Von Miller. Definitely not a boom. DK Metcalf, another decent wide receiver. I got a silver in here. We got an upside down one here. Oh my God. Come on, man. Any quarterback negative that I could get, and I get a Jake from Jake from State Farm. And I don't know why. Maybe that'll come off. But Buffalo Bills, he's not going to see the lie today. But a Jake from. It's a negative. It's a rated rookie. I've actually got the Herbert just like that. That I pulled. Our silver. Come on, baby. Make up for it. Rookie card. Are you shitting me, Kyle Duggar? Come on. Come on. Don't have boogers and hammer marks. All right. We got another silver. Up. Huh? I think this is a base. I don't think it's a rookie. Oh, it is a rookie. This is going to be a Jordan Love. That's the colors, and it's a silver. Come on. Nope. This is going to be, it's going to be, I think, um, Paul C's man. 
No, no, it ain't. I was wrong. Anthony McFarland. I don't know which one I'd like to have. Chase Claypool, Anthony McFarland. Mm, that's close. But still, silver, I'll take it. We got an optic. Ooh, look at that. These right here are selling pretty good. An optic T minus. You don't see these too much. These are harder to pull, but a Tom Brady in itself is a nice one. And behind it, Terry Kill Dominators. Love these cars. Look at this thing. It's like a darn bear, right? Getting ready to slash through it. So, but nice Tom Brady. I'll take a Tom Brady. Tyreek Hill, not bad, Dominators. Let's get in some rookies. Come on, baby. Uh, it's an RC, so the logo's not going to be there. Logan Wilson. Logan Wilson. Come on. I want to see a rated rookie logo. Nope. Terrell Lewis. Come on. All right, we got a rated rookie. Come on, baby. They got a helmet. The Titans. I forgot who that is. Darrington Evans. Eh. Oh, well. It's a rated rookie. All right, here's where it's going to come in, the scopes. Let's get some rookies and scopes. we got one rookie and scope. Chargers are going to be Kelly. No, Kenneth Murray. All right. Give me another rookie. we got another rookie, but it's just a base rookie. It's going to be an earn. Raekwon Davis. All right. Ooh, rated rookie. Come on, baby. Come on. Eagles, come on, Hurts. Come on, Hurts. Don't give me no Jalen Rager. Damn it, Hurts. Ah, ah. I'd love to have a scope of Hurts. That would have been sweet. Eh. Is it worth 80 bucks now that you rip it? Probably not. But Tom Brady, Tyreek Hill, Anthony McFarland Silver, Jake Fromm Negative. Jalen Rager. Maybe got half my money back. Something like that. You never know. Down the road, Jalen Rager might turn into another Justin Jefferson. Who knows? Right? But maybe uh, Jake from State Farm might get traded and be a stud quarterback somewhere. Kind of doubt it, but, you know, it is what it is. So, But it's an enjoyable rip. I enjoy ripping cards. Love ripping optic. I don't know which I like better. I got a silver Kyle Duggar. Uh, got a, some decent base quarterbacks there. Um, but yeah, Jimmy G. Um, I think we'll be surprised how much this right here is worth. I'll be willing to bet you that's probably fifteen twenty dollar card. That's Tom Brady right there, because those team minuses are pretty rare to see. Not really rare. Yep, rip three more just to be sure. Better try again. Yeah. I don't have any more. That's the only thing. I don't have any more hangers in Optic. None. I wish I did. And believe me, I'm not paying $80 again for them. I can tell you that. Now, could they be worth it? Yes. You pull something like that. This is this is no different than Select. 12 cards. Even at $26, you're paying about $2 per card. I'm paying $4 per card. Hit miss product for sure. Get more chances of hits because there's more cards in it, but still, uh, fun little rip. I'll rip one more thing if nobody else wants anything. And uh, I don't know. Tell you what, let's rip a. Uh, and open up one of these in a while. Yeah, for myself. I'll open up me a Bowman Blaster. I still got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You got 15 Bowman Blasters. Prism Mega. Yeah, okay. I've got like two or three of those. And I think out of all my retail products, the exception of Hobby, that's probably my most expensive thing I've got. I think. Well, no, I take it back. I do have some. I do have some. 2019, 2020 optic and prism still left of basketball. That's probably a little bit more higher than the than the uh, prism mega. Not by a lot, but but still, those are in a sealed container that I probably won't never open. That I'll probably just set and gaze at. What's the prism base going for? The prism base, I think. Uh, the base is going for, I think, um, 
10 to 12 range, I think, uh, prism of this year of Tom Brady. And the silver, I think, was going for 25 to 40 range at one time. I think I could be wrong. Or maybe the base was going for 20. I don't know. Yaz, Bichette, Bauer, Soler, Jesus. Jesus. Alex Kirloff. All right. Hey. We talked about him earlier. There's a Lou Bob. Nice one. Alex Thomas and Nick Bisco. Ooh, hold on. Sneaking up on me. I got a green back here. I didn't even know I had some. Ed Howard. Heston Kirstad, come on, Green. What we got? Be a first. Or don't be a first. Be. Is that Zach Bean? Yeah, yeah Zach Bean. Out of three ninety nine. All right. I'll take that. I'll take a Zach Bean Green. Out of two ninety nine. Or three ninety nine, excuse me. Boy, that card color looks weird, doesn't it? Neon green. Zach Bean. Good promise player, right? Not a first, but eh, numbers, right? Lou Bob is nice. All right. Let's see what else we got here in this blaster. Maybe we can get two number cards. I have gotten two number cards before in one blaster only. Jose Garcia. Andrew Ramirez. Dylan Carlson's not bad. I'll take a Dylan Carlson rookie. Miggy. Max Kepler. Labor Day and a pipeline. Pipeline of the uh for the Giants. Corey Ramos and Anon or whatever his name is. A first. Gary Keller, we got him we pulled him earlier. And Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard. A first, a Trent Devereaux. Kevin Alcantara first. And George Kirby. We got some first there in paper. Not bad. Yep, I think it's around 10 is 10 to 15, something like that for base. Not much. But hey, if you think about it, still not bad. All right, Blake Schnell. Ooh, hold on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Next pack. This might be one of the very few where I got actually two numbers in this bad boy. Nick Magical with a binged up corner down there. Thank you, Bowman. Garrett Crotchet, Jose Altuve, Pete Alonzo, Manny Machato, Luis Garcia. All right. J.J. Blade, he's number 27 on J.J. Drew Romo, we have to get a Blaze Jordan. It's almost like C.J. Abram. Like, we've got to get him here. A little scratch on that. Uh, Jose Tina. Ronnie Mauricio and Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt. Look how young he looks. Bobby Witt. All right, next pack. Here we go. Six to. It's my cards. I can pick if I want. Six to. Rookie card. Jordan. Jacob DeGrom, Mike Clevenger, Matt Chapman, Javi Baez, and a rookie card of Evan White. He plays for the Mariners, so he's no hope for him, but still a good card. Brandon Marsh and Kristen Robinson. Jason Dominguez, paper, not bad. Matt Manning and Hunter Green. All right. Next pack. Or last pack, I should say. I don't know. To me, I like blasters better than Megas. I don't know. I just like this. You, you get a chance to pull them more than number cards versus just two packs, it seems like. And I like odds. I like more cards, more chances. You know what I mean? Whit Merrifield, Joe Adele rookie card. Pretty good. There he is, Key Brian Hayes. We was talking about him all night. First time we've seen him, though. Can I get a Chronicles foosball cello, please? You sure can. Farm League. Farm League. Let me write you down here. Uh, Chronicles Football Cello. Chronicles Foosball Cello. All right. I sure can. 
Spencer Howard, Ricky Card. That's not bad. Kettle Marte, Joey Votto, Keston Hearstand, a first, Jake Bogle, I'll take it, a first, Bryson Scott, Nick Lofton, Austin Wells, and Julio Ramos. All right, this is the pack that I thought I'd seen some color in. It looks like it. Doesn't that look like a green right there? I don't know what this numbered out of, but we got a Blake Chanel, U Darvish, Skewball, Clark Schmidt. Tristan McKenzie, Ian Anderson, Hall of Famer all day long. All day long. He's going in front of Key Brown Hayes. Marco Luciana, I like him. It's got a nice little dent right there in the card. Max Myers, pretty good. We've seen him already. And I know we got the color behind us. I'm going from the back. Woodson, or Richardson, I mean, Louis uh, Garcia, the good Garcia, and Riley Green. Let's see what we got here. So we got two numbers. That's my only in the second blast. We got two numbers in it. Green. Uh oh. It's a Boston. Come on, baby. No, it's not a first. Who we got here? CJ Chatham. I think actually I got a number card of CJ Chatham as well. And that's 76 out of 99. Would have been nice if that was a Blaze Jordan, right? Man, I've been nice. That son of a gun was a Blaze Jordan. They're teasing me now. They're teasing me. Teasing me. Any number card don't matter what it is. I mean, I'm sure there's a CJ Chatham collector out there somewhere, right? But getting two number cards, that ain't bad out of one blaster. So that's the reason why I say, I mean, I mean, you can get none. You can get two. How many times have you seen two number cards out of the Mega Box? Now, granted, if you get a good card in the Mojo, probably worth a little bit more than the base number card for sure. But I don't know. I like blasters better. That's just me. You know I'm biased, but truly believe Ian will get Rookie of the Year. He has carried the team all year, to be honest. He's had some real good games, and he's had a couple bad games. Uh, which I don't know, other than Jacob DeGrom, I don't know of any pitcher that had a couple bad games. So I think he's he's I think he's in contention for sure, Farm League. Um, Chronicles Foosball. I have a total of five Chronicle Foosballs. And we'll say it's one, two, three, four, five. You pick your number form league. I think that's what you want. Chronicles foosball, right? What number can you pick? What number looks good? Somebody tell them. Three. The middle one. The Mittal one. All right. All right. Let's see what we got in the middle. A little foosball action. All right. 15 cards in foosball. Now, these are probably one of the funnest rips in football this year as far as, I ain't going to say guaranteed money back, but it's hard to lose money in this product because you get so many rookie cards out of it. There's the silver one. I know it. Hey, I'll buy both Prism Racing Blast for 50 from you and don't rip it. I want to keep them for content. Let me know. Danny, let me see here. Let me make sure I've got two. I think I've got listed two. But yeah, you can. You sure can have that. Well, I don't know if I can pass them up on on for fifty. I have to go a little bit more than that because that's only two I got. But we can talk and we kind of go from there, Danny. You got my number, right? You still got my number. I love Chronicles myself. It's it's just ooh. I'm not going to see who that is, but I did see a prism which is what you're after, a Prism Black. Prism Black. So 
So let's see what we got in that Prism Black. We got a Zeke Elliott Chronicles. Man, it keeps on, wants me to slide to it. Henry Ruggs Chronicles. Not a bad rookie card there. Hollywood Brown. Drew Brees. Last card you'll see in him. C.D. Lamb rookie card. You know what? And this is, to be honest, if you look about a year's into this and in Chronicles, everybody passes up on the base Chronicles look. Um, but these sell real well, the base Chronicles. Um, it's usually these are considered almost like filler cards, but they sell real well as far as rookie cards down the road. Not not like right now. Uh, they sell Chronicles sells for five at five and below. Also, no limit. Shoot, yeah, I need to buy, buy a bunch of those in. City Lamb. Travis Kelsey. And we're getting into our Omegas, which is only in the cellos. We got a Jalen Hurts. And I don't want to reveal that chrome. It's one of what the world. Oh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Jalen Hurts. Yeah, that's who we want. I was thinking Jalen Rager the whole time. We got a Jalen Rager right behind it. That's what it is. I'm not going to show the chrome, so we're going to go last on that. A Kenneth Murray rookie card. Who we got here? Michael Pittman Jr. rookie. Who else would come to buy them? I thought just throwing it out in the hair. That's what I do on my ends. <laughs> Rip the racing. I know. I know. I know. A wide receiver of. Is that Terrell Johnson? That's not who we're looking for. Come on. Cam Akers. Eh, not bad. Not a bad running back. I wouldn't say the best, but not a bad one. Had a decent year. Cam Akers. Uh-oh. Well, that's not bad. That's probably one of the best rookie cards you can get as far as running back. we got a Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Luminance. Not a bad Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. That's $50. Going, going, gone. <laughs> and we have got a Panini. Henry Ruggs. There we go. Two Ruggses. You get two Ruggses. All right, down for our hit card. Let's see who we can get. Well, I don't want to spoil that. I think I've seen it. Y'all didn't see it as far as the name. It is a rookie card, and it's a black. And it is, well, I was hoping it was the other guy, but it's still a possibility. Jacob Eason, rookie card in black. It is a quarterback. Um, So... I mean, you know, he's probably what the, I'd say, fifth best rookie card as far as quarterback in the product, but it's still a prism draft. To get a prism draft out of a cello, I think, is a win in that scenario. So, got a Jacob Eason black prism. Sweet looking card either way. So, any number of stuff come out of Retail Chronicles. At least it wasn't from, exactly. Yeah, at least it wasn't from. That'd be the only thing I've seen all only silvers no there are numbers there are numbers in chronicles believe it or not i've pulled some numbers it's not been a lot but i have pulled some numbers um one of the things is like for instance like where this is silver it'll be blue uh same thing with omegas i pulled some omega numbers and they've been i think blue i think where it's got gold here but yes I have not pulled many, but I have pulled numbers. Normally, Chronicles, you'll see in years past, uh, or not in years past, but in the last year, at least, no numbers, just parallels. Basketball is like that. Football is different, and I think baseball is different. You do get number cards out of Chronicles. Only in basketball do you not get number cards. So football, not as many. Baseball, you get a little bit more, but football, I have pulled some number cards. But not a bad little blaster. You got two rugs. That's a win. Two little rugs is there. Jalen Rager. Not bad. 
Got all those. And, oh, I forgot about C.D. Lamb right there. Cam Akers. Uh, what else was the other ones? I thought there was one more. Oh, yeah, Jalen Hurts. I forgot about Jalen Hurts. You're welcome. You're welcome, Farm League. Nice little Jalen Hurts. QB. What do we think about Jalen Hurts? I think he's got potential. I think he's going to be better than Tua. I really do. We'll find out this year. But I think he's definitely got more talent than Tua. And then Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Clyde the Glide. Glad to glad. All right. Putting you in there, Farm League. Where are you at? Where's your stack at? There it is. There it is. All right. I've opened me up a baseball. I've opened me up a basketball or a, a football. Give Hurts a true chance to play. Oh, he de they are, definitely are. I think they definitely are. I think he's going to be a starting quarterback this year for him. Uh, that's the reason why they got rid of uh, Carson Wentz. I think he's definitely going to get a start there. For sure. Um, all right, so I have to open up a basketball, and then I'm done. If nobody else buys anything in, that way I get all three in, and... I'm going to open up. I'll open up. Yeah, just two little Donner spec packs. Yeah, two Donner spec packs. See if we can pull out of these. Two Donner spats. We'll be done for the evening. These on the back will have. Ooh. Okay. It, I can't remember. I've it, it, opened so many products. This has I seen I seen a green back here, and I'm like, oh, did I get a number card? I don't want that. But no, you get a hollow green out of this. So. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got here. Christian Woods, PJ Washington, Lamarcus Aldridge, Bismarck. Uh, Aaron Bays. I'll tell you somebody's real hot in there right now is DeAndre Ayton. Oh my gosh, his cards are going crazy. Uh, Kyrie Irving, Brooker too. Uh, Galloway. Man, why these cards? I feel like I'm opening Don Russ. I mean, not Don Russ, but uh, Upper Deck. Uh, Fultz, CJ McCollum, John Wall, Nikola. We got Davis Burtons. I don't even know who that is. Doug McDermott, Miles Turner, Mike Conley, Paul Millsap, Mark Gasol, uh, Bogdanovich, Buddy Hill, Gordon Hayworth. Bradley Beal, Kelvin Johnson, and oh, that's not bad. Emmanuel Quickly. Didn't get rookie of the year, but eh, still a good player. Emmanuel Quickly. We got the Joker right behind him. Jokic. And a Drew Holiday. He's not a bad player. Drew Holiday. New Orleans. That's our vector. Huh, we got Skinny. Skinny. Skinny's not a bad player. Isaiah Stewart. Eh, not too bad. Isaiah Stewart. Devin Vassell. Obi Toppin. And, ooh, baby. There we go. That's two good players right there. Obi Toppin and Anthony Edwards. I'll take it, Anthony Edwards. Aiton has been playing great, but many fouls of lately. They got rid of Wentz, but then they bought in a new head coach. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Anthony Edwards. That's the boom. Boom! Right? One of the top three rookies. Right? Anthony Edwards. Great pack. All right. We'll try one more. I got one more pulled out here. Let's we'll see if we can get some correlation issues. Maybe it'll be like that, and I'll get two Anthony Edwards in a row, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Trey Rozier, Nicola, Eric Gordon, Devontae Graham. The cards are different. We can get at least different people here. Cody Zeller, Dennis Smith Jr., uh, DeMar DeRozan, Tory Craig, Michael Porter Jr., Dennis Schroeder, 
who is Julius Randle, Alex Kirkos, whatever it is. There's Zion, second year. Zion, we'll put Zion up here. Put him in front of Joker. TJ Warren, Draymond Green, uh, Prince, Tobias, Miles Bridges, Kobe White. His cards are actually going up a little bit too. Kobe White's cards. Uh, Serge Ibaka, Marcus Morris Jr., Harrison Barnes, uh, Jason Tatum, good player, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Smith. Pretty card, nonetheless. Jalen Smith, nice orange RC logo up there to go match it. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, Elijah Hughes, at least we got a rated rookie in that. Don't know if Elijah Hughes is going to turn out to be anything great, but we got him in a vector parallel, nonetheless. Isaiah Stewart. Now, didn't we get an Isaiah Stewart last pack? And a Devin Vassell? Uh, did we get enough? Look at that. The same pack. Same pack, except we didn't get a Kenny Martin last time. So the correlation that looks like Obi Toppin and then Anthony Edwards, two Anthony Edwards. That's crazy. Two packs, two Anthony Edwards. I'll take it. Open another one. <laughs> Open another one. Yeah, I've got fat packs of all Anthony Edwards. <laughs> got all Anthony Edwards packs. Open another one. <laughs> Open another one. Keep opening. Open another one. <laughs> Go three for three. Yeah, I hear you. I think sometimes you don't want to press your luck, right? You're better off saying, all right, that was pretty good. I definitely say that the best rip tonight as far as bang for the buck was probably in the basketball, getting two Anthony Edwards out of fat packs. I forgot I got an Obi Toppin in that sleeve as well. So, not bad. Not a little bad fat package. I enjoyed that one. That's probably one of my best rips. I don't know what there's Obi Toppin. I like Obi. I don't know why I didn't sleep in with two. You know you want to. Oh, dude. You don't know how much I want to keep opening and keep opening and keep opening and keep opening. But the bad thing about it is I've got to sort all these cards now. And on top of that, I'm getting low on penny sleeves. And on top loaders, I still got plenty to rip. Don't get me wrong, but if I don't have at least a case of each, I get nervous. Uh, and I'm down to about probably a little less than a quarter of a case of penny sleeves, and probably about half a case of top loaders. So penny sleeves, I mean, I might start stacking. Who knows? For too long, but. I need to get into um, check out the cardboard connections. The thing about it is, I don't think that they're going to drop till the 18th or something like that. So, big sale. The, yeah, it's 17th or the, it's the 18th or 19th. So, yep, is the, the 19th. So, yeah. So, on the 19th, I will be logging on. I will be setting my alarm and I will be buying at least a case of top loaders and a case of penny sleeves because that usually lasts me about. Two months usually that's how many cards i rip um and sort of course i'm probably more anal than anybody else i sort a lot of cards and i sort i penny sleeve a lot of my cards um, yeah they ship pretty good so thanks tom i needed that info yeah it's um it's um car that's when they uh thing i thought everybody knows that you're in the farm league you're in our chat ain't you farm league our text group if not you need to be in it man we're all time spreading information um shillaney soon she as soon as he rips something he sells it so yeah <laughs> two containers of top loaders coming more than expected they should have plenty um i just need about a case of top loaders is all i need um penny sleeves i need more of because i use twice as many pennies probably five times as many penny sleeves i do top loaders um so um i need to need to get more penny sleeves for sure Mm. that's right james ray is yeah so he needs a james ray he's getting all the good intel he's getting all of it from farm league 
he's getting all the good intel we're given. When when car drops, hits, and everything. So hey, it's your loss. Your loss. Farm league doesn't last very long these days. No, I'm starting to stretch them a lot more. I don't text much. You know, you got to text much. You just got to listen. Because sometimes we'll, I mean, we, we, we cut up a lot too in there, but in the same aspect, we uh, we uh, get in there and we'll pass information like, hey, target drop now, go ahead and get cards, or hey, there's a sale on here. Hey, tops.com just dropped some stuff. So it's good information if you're looking for it. And plus, if there's cards that you like uh, and you want, um, hell, Stephen will post up some pictures. I'll post up some pictures. Um, we trade cards in there, so we have a good time in there. We want a car going on the night. Yeah, the 19th. Yep. Yep. So it's up to you, Dave. If you don't want to be in, that's fine. That's cool as well. But it's, it's, we have fun in there. We cut up a lot. I mean, we're always fun. We're always make. they always make fun of me and talk, and I make fun of Tom. I usually make fun of Shalani every now and then. So yeah, it's good, good, wholesome fun. <laughs> now, how do I get in that chat? Yeah. Um, just uh, text. Tell James Furr, give his phone number uh, to James. And if he wants to give it to us, we can add another group into our text. I think we got like, I don't know how many we got in there, like 14 or 15 people in a little text thread, something like that. We've also got our own little, uh, um, that's what I said. Um, we also got a little uh, Discord with our group too that we're in. So, uh, but yeah, the texting we use, I, shoot, we text a lot throughout the day. Um, so, but yeah. There's nothing else. I'm going to sign off for tonight. I enjoyed it. I still need to get me something to eat. I'm hungry. I am hungry. Hungry Jack. But, um, like I said, if you're interested in any of these cars before I post them on eBay, let me know. Uh, if you want to trade something for them, that's as well. But that's what I'm looking to get. 140 for the Zion Rookie, 265 for the Luca, and 250 for the Herbert uh, HGA Gym Mints. So, thanks everybody for stopping in tonight. If no more questions, or no more rips. I'm going to sign off. To Anthony Edwards. Boom. Wish it was a mellow. So, oh well. I'll take two Anthony Edwards. <laughs> good night, everybody. And have a good night. And I guess we will see you on the weekend. And T-Bone and Stemmers, if you're still on. Don't know if you are. We'll see if we can get together. I got your email, Stemmers. And see if we can uh, maybe get up and watch a ball game together. So y'all take it easy. Keep on ripping. Clark Sports Cards out.